at the same time, we keep sort of assuming that Kevin McCarthy is going to be speaker, but we should not be doing that because if you're talking about that thin of a margin, you have to keep everybody basically in a line in order to win the, the 218 votes that you need to become Speaker of the House. Let's go and put this up on the screen. Kevin McCarthy's bid for Speaker, this from the Wall Street Journal, complicated by GOP's 2022 midterm results. Uh, you have Representative Chip Roy saying pretty bluntly, he is a Freedom Caucus guy. Let's just say no one currently has 218. I think it's hard to disagree with that. There's about three do dozen Republicans in the Freedom Caucus who, you you know, are uh, willing to cause problems for leadership and have a bit of an adversarial relationship. They say with control of the House and Senate still undecided, angry Republicans mounted public challenges to their leaders in both chambers Friday as they confronted the possibility of falling short of the majority. Now it looks like they will achieve that slim majority. Um, but uh, very, you've got a few who are really out there saying, listen, we haven't decided that we're with Kevin McCarthy. We think that there deserves to be a challenge. Matt Gates told reporters that McCarthy was not his first choice to lead the conference echoing calls by the Freedom Caucus members. Uh, however, McCarthy does have the backing of Trump. And also some of the most credible potential alternatives, people like um, Minority Whip Steve Scalise, Representative Jim Jordan, and uh, Jim Banks, they remain supportive of McCarthy. So he's he has been savvy in sort of co-opting some of his potential adversaries to his side. That's true, but Freedom Caucus is still likely to mount a bit against him. I've been reading and listening over the last couple of days. Andy Biggs very likely to run against him. In in Arizona. He's the chairman of the Freedom Caucus. At the very least, he's either going to run and extract something at the end, or he won't run because they're going to basically buy him off with something. We will see what that pound of flesh that he will yeah, be able they, to extract is. What is it they, they want more like might prominent get, committee say, seats, chairmanship, stuff like likely that? Likely it will come down to chairman, uh, chairmanships, committee seats, maybe shifting a round of committees, Marjorie Taylor Greene being restored to her committees, that's gonna be a big one. Uh, in terms of promises uh, for Trump and else, I, again, there's so much shifting dynamic here. Yeah. I, really, I really have no idea. They're gonna get something. I, I think that needs I, to be certain. Pro I mean, probably the most likely scenario here is McCarthy does end up a speaker, but yeah, the Freedom Caucus gets right. whatever it is they're asking for effectively. I know one of the things they were asking for was like to make it easier to bounce the Speaker of the House if they're not happy with him. That one piece, I don't think he's gonna give them, but if they want particular committee assignments or chairmanships or whatever, and to you know have more power and visibility, I think uh, those sorts of things will ultimately be on the table. Yes. Hey guys, ready or not, 2024 is fully upon us now, and Soccer and I have been brainstorming ways that we can really up our game for this critical election. Yeah, we rely on our premium subs to expand our coverage, to add staff, to upgrade the studio. We just wanna give you the best independent coverage of this election, which is possible. So if you can help us out, become a premium subscriber today, breakingpoints.com, or the link is down here in the description video. It really means the world to us, and if you like what we're all about, this is the best possible way to keep us 100% independent, working only for you.